Hello again, and now we will uh, quickly discuss how to move from the Excel now to the Word assignment that you have to do. Because now we learn how to move from SPSS to Excel, but now it's Excel to Word. So I will illustrate how to do it with the example that we have in Canvas. If you go to the assignment page, you will find like a good example of an assignment. Take a look at it and also the in the assignment instructions you have like the structure that you should follow with the chapters and what is inside even subsections for each chapter so uh, you can also take a look at that when i am explaining this but basically all the all the things that you did today with the uh, tables will appear in the findings chapter chapter four especially in the subsection of quantitative findings, because I think that I will, I suggest that you divide the findings into two quant and qual. So let's move to that section to see uh, how it looks like. Uh, it's here. So in findings, uh, maybe a comment for improvement on this, uh, it's a good assignment, but it, everything can be improved all the time. So maybe you could add an introductory paragraph of after chapter four, and then also an introductory short paragraph after 4.1. So it doesn't feel like uh, it comes too quickly in the data. I think you need a little bit of introduction. So maybe just add two short paragraphs in here, findings, like what are you going to talk about in this paragraph? And what is, why quantitative findings? What is going to be discussed in quantitative findings? So just introduction, paragraph, very short. But uh, I also suggest that you divide section, uh, the first section of the findings into uh, a subsection with each of the things that you will discuss, the descriptive statistics, the correlation matrix, and the models, the regression models. So let's start with descriptive statistics. and. This is literally what you have to do. Just copy paste your table in here and then discuss it in one paragraph. You should, I, I think we talked about it last uh, workshop that uh, it is good practice to discuss interesting things that you see uh, or interesting things that you don't see or also aspects like, for example, that we discussed, like in our sample, it seems that uh, the global mindset is a bit high because the mean is high. And then even professional aspirations is high. We can discuss the maximum age. That is also interesting. This aspect of the people who have been studied for 13 years, we can also discuss that quickly. So uh, discuss a few things like, like in here, uh, it's, it, you don't need to write a lot. Then the correlation matrix, again, you copy paste the correlation matrix in here. And then you, again, the same thing, you discuss interesting correlations that you find and interesting correlations that you also do not find. So you don't need to discuss a lot, just one paragraph is enough. And then we move to the regression model. And again, maybe you copy paste your model, your tables from the model in here, and then you discuss one by one model. So probably you will need three paragraphs at least to discuss each model. And what do you need to discuss? You need to go step by step uh, writing what you did in the analysis. So remember the first thing that we need was to check the uh, the model fit with the F value. So report that for materialism, maybe your first paragraph is going to be very short because you will end here, right? The first model doesn't work. For everyone else, I think it works. But materialism, it will be a short paragraph. But after F value, for if the model works, then move forward, discuss the R square, discuss the multicollinearity, why you don't have multicollinearity, and discuss uh, your own variable, what happens with uh, uh, your own variable that you want to explain. So do that for the three models. That is what you will have to do, three models. And maybe again, another maybe observation. Uh, I, I, um, I think they wrote it here. Uh, at the end of model three, but I think it's better if you write, if you use one final paragraph where you write the conclusion, is it full support, partial support, uh, or full reject, partial reject, 
or is it mixed findings or nothing works? What is the final conclusion from the quantitative findings? And with that, we finish. You don't need more. As you can see, we move forward with qualitative findings. So that is what you have to do uh, in regards of your assignment. And I believe right now with the data that we have today, you can actually write it. You can write it right now and, and be done with that. Then you can forget about quant findings for now, and then just focus on qualitative analysis. <laughs> so that's that's it for today. Uh, that's the end of, of the lecture. And now I think I will try to, to, if you have any questions about this, let me know when we have the tutoring session. Uh, and then I will try to also send you detailed instructions about everything else in the report.